This effect looks complicated, but it's surprisingly easy. Today I will show you how to create this stunning liquid metal animation in After Effects, even if you are a beginner. So said enough, let's dive into After Effects. Oh well, guys, while I'm making the new composition, I would like to say that this technique I found in the Apta videos community, so they have also a lot of different cool features. You can learn a lot from them, or you can also learn from me as you wish. I will leave the link for both of us. Yeah. So guys, we can create anything. We can create uh, an apple like this, or we can create Discord. So you can make it with any icon you want okay uh, but let's say we want to make it with our apple yeah we just need to make an apple but you can just find the png what i have over here yeah so for example we have just png like this and all we need just to make it is the gray color so it's very important guys because it will not work let me show you if it will be filled with white so for example here discord and here i will change to white color so as you can see like everything breaks yeah so let me turn it back so approximately like this yeah yeah but if you want to create animations like epta or other top creators and maybe even start making money with it i've got something for you I made a course for beginners and beyond with 10 clear modules and project files that get updated over time. You will learn how to make professional motion graphics and after finishing the course you will have the skills to start working with clients or even build your own income online. This is exactly how I started. The link to the course in the description. And now guys we are going to find uh, the layer styles and here inner go so it already works good for me but probably you will have something like this so we just need to increase the size why we need it because let me everything show you to make sure you understand if you will reduce here the inner inner glow so right now it looks like this yeah and if you will remove it we will not be able to see this white stroke on the corner that looks much more better yeah like this so with it it works and just very beautiful that's it so after that we just need to pre-compose it and leave it like that now guys we need to make just a shape in my case i have a shape like this so it's like a rounded arrow or you could name it as you as you wish let me duplicate it to make uh, things more easier so i will remove here position i will delete everything from here now and now you can see how it looks so we need to create the shape like this and how we will make it we just need to uh, use our pen tool uh, make it in this way so i'm just creating an arrow and just pressing alt on my keyboard so all we need just to make the gradient so guys here you can use uh, both of these types of gradients so you can use as radial or linear so let's see what uh, changes we have if we will use different of them so here we have the radial but if we will switch to the linear one we see that something changes yeah uh, but everything looks very very nice the main thing we need to make it done like this let's delete this one over here guys we are going to use track mat on our apple so yeah like this we can even scale it up just a little bit so let's leave it like that and now guys i will just apply my liquid metal uh, but in your case you will start from fastbox blur so here i'm showing you the properties you can just duplicate it so fastbox displacement map over here and uh, here guys use your png what you 
make yeah so if you use not apple uh, you will need to use your own so for example discord or any anything you want any logo you have yeah uh, the next we need to adjust it yeah i just need to use it on apple so i want to make it more rounded for example and i will leave it like that or i can make it in this way but for example i will make it as as i see so for example it will be like that as for me now it looks pretty good so now we can just leave it like that and the next effect what we have here uh, by the way displacement map uh, this is the most important effect so without it uh, everything will not work like we want yeah so this is the main effect for this so this is also the reason why we use uh, the gray color on our uh, logo yeah so the next uh, we have chromatic aberrations so that's it if you turn it off you will not able to see these different colors here yeah? so we can adjust it and we will be able to see uh, different variations yeah how our animation can be done but i will just leave it like that and it works pretty nice so and also i have the curves it just for increasing the contrast so probably you can even not use it because everything works fine even without it but in my case i want to make darker colors even darker yeah and lighter colors a bit lighter so i hope you got me after that we will just need to make two keyframes so position at the start and position at the end and after that pressing f9 uh, make sure you select it we just need to make it in this way so now let's see what we got So guys, I think this technique is very very important to know, like must have to know, because you can make a lot of different cool animations just knowing this technique. It's really insane and you can play uh, with this displacement map. Also highly recommend you to check out uh, how it works, like to understand 100% uh, yeah, how everything works with this effect. Alright guys, enough talking just want to say you thank you so much for your support and everything you do for me um, and i will try to make more videos for you and uh, bring you more knowledge don't forget to subscribe on this channel and put some likes and comments please it helps me a lot see you in the next video goodbye